the all-new Ultra Tim 4 Trail Shoe. It is touted by Ultra to be an improved trail runner that is ready to take on any trail, any ground, or any terrain. But is it really? Um, in my honest opinion, yes. This is a fantastic shoe. I absolutely love this shoe. I would take it on any trail, any terrain, any time. But stay tuned to get the full review. Spartans, welcome back to another episode of Train Spartan. And today we are going to be talking about the Ultra Tim 4 Trail Shoe. And I have, I don't know, 100, 200 miles on this shoe. I've got a lot of trail underneath this shoe. And there's some things I absolutely love. Um, it's, it's maybe not my favorite Ultra Trail Shoe, but that's not saying it's a bad shoe. It's amazing. So let's go over the details real quick. And then I'm going to give you my honest review on the trails. So first off, the shoe weighs in at 10.9 ounces or 308 grams. It's one of the, uh, you know, one of the heavier trail shoes from Ultra, but it's because it's got the thicker cushion. The midsole is the Ultra Ego, which is fantastic. It's really comfortable. Um, you know, most of their, you know, thicker trail shoes have that Ultra Ego. The outsole, it's got the, what's called the Max Track. So it's got, you know, a good lug system. This is one that I haven't cleaned off recently. It's got a lot of real dirt from real trails on there. I mean, the grip is great. I'm starting to wear the lugs down on this one because I've got so many miles on it, but I haven't had any major issues with, you know, slippage on the trails, on, you know, feeling unstable while going down, you know, the steep downhills and, and loose terrain. And I mean, the cushion level for this is high. It's got a 29 millimeter stack height. So as you can see, it's, you know, it's got a pretty, pretty thick stack height, but it's made to be a rugged trail shoe. You know, when you're out there on sharp rocks, hard terrain, gonna be out there for a lot of miles, you want a thicker sole to really protect your foot so it doesn't take as much of a beating. And so it does have a thicker stack height. I haven't felt unstable on this. You know, I'm not rolling my ankle all the time. It's not crazy high. Just as a comparison on the Mont Blanc, that's a 30 millimeter stack height. And then the most max cushion trail shoe to date, um, the Olympus 5 just came out recently. It's got a stack height of 33 millimeters. So, I mean, you know, four millimeter different, it's not huge. Um, I did notice a little bit of difference between this and the Mont Blanc. I'm getting a set of uh, of the Olympus 5s today in the mail. I can't wait to take those out on the trail and, and give them a go. So I can't compare to that. But I mean, the cushion is amazing. Like it, the price tag comes at $160. It's kind of the mid range of the Ultra Trail shoes. You know, down I think the. Um, well, the Superior is down, I think, at 140, if I'm not mistaken. And then you've got, you know, the Mont Blanc is going to be at the higher end. I think it's 180. And then the Olympus uh, 5 is also up at that price range. So it's kind of in the middle. It's not, you know, for, for these kind of shoes, it's it's a mid-range. It is expensive. I mean, you can go to pay less. But anyways, like, it, it's a fantastic trail shoe. So let me just give a couple highlights real quick on the things that that other shoe reviews may not go into as much like you, you can look up the stats online and that's fine but like man the thing my favorite absolute most favorite thing about this shoe is the upper part around the ankle right around in this area i have never worn a trail shoe or have any shoe for that matter that feels more comfortable it's got this kind of padded cushion right around those ankle bones around the heel of the achilles and my goodness it is so incredibly comfortable um the actual sole itself like it feels a little bit stiffer or sturdier compared to like say the mont blanc for me that one's super flexible it's really springy um but it's not this is not an uncomfortable sole right the midsole it's got a lot of cushion it protects you from the rocks it's great has just a little bit of a stiffer ride which some people may like which is fine but my goodness, this upper is absolutely incredible. Like that is the one thing that I don't like about the Mont Blanc. Like in everything else, I'd prefer the Mont Blanc. It edges out just a tiny bit, but like there is just, there's no cushion. Like if the Temp 4 and the Mont Blanc had a baby, there'd be a high likelihood it'd be my absolute most favorite trail shoe ever. Um, but that being said, like I would have no hesitation taking this out on the trails. The only defect that I've had in, you know, over a hundred miles of running and nasty rocks, steep downhills, ascents, climbs, you know, road miles is there's a tiny little hole if you can see it right there. But the caveat is I got that hole when I kicked some cement curbing playing soccer at my buddy's house in his front yard. We were playing soccer, I kicked it like that is the only like damage that has happened or occurred to this shoe in the hundreds of miles that I've got it. Nothing's coming apart. The stitching's great. I mean, everything still feels amazing. I absolutely love this shoe. And like every other Ultra that I've ever owned, I think that 
yeah, the outsole is gonna, is gonna give out, like the lugs are gonna be gone far before the rest of the shoe, you know, gets destroyed. So it's just, you know, it's extremely durable from all of my experience. I've taken it through water, through snow, through mud, through dirt, powder, rocks, um, you know, the side, the side, sidewalk, cement, asphalt, you know, anything you can run on that I've got around here in, you know, Southern desert mountainous Idaho, it's been on and it has been a fantastic shoe. Um, so let me go, we'll go to the trails here and I'll give you my honest review actually running in these shoes and what I think. All right. Well, I've had a lot of time to put some miles on my new temp fours and, uh, they are a solid shoe. I mean, I'm top of it's over a thousand foot climb i've done um some climbs up through here run along that ridge there's some more mountains over there i guess some more trail going over that way um grades over 45 percent I mean, this is some fairly decent single track not super technical but i mean it's some good trails out here and and the tim ford does not disappoint it's uh it's got a little bit thicker stack height which means it does give a lot more protection to the bottom of your feet so if you're out here running on this kind of terrain you know you're not really going to feel those sharp rocks through the bottom of the shoe at all um i'll do a comparison video but i mean the next closest shoe that's pretty comparable it's a little more expensive is the new mont blanc and i i've done head to head you might feel the ground a little bit more than Tim Four, which some people like. Like if you like a more minimalist feel, I mean, these are definitely not minimalist shoes. But if you want protection, but still feel a little bit more connected to the ground, um, the Tim Four is great. They are extremely comfortable. Uh, like I said, you don't feel sharp rocks through the bottom of the soles. Uh, I haven't got any blisters in these. Uh, the upper is really comfortable around the ankle. And I wish, that's one thing I wish the Mont Blanc had more of was some more cushioning around the ankle, but I mean, it is phenomenal. Um, they, they are, I mean, they're, they're still pretty light uh, for what they've got. The grip is great. I mean, I'm going down some pretty nasty, loose rock, dirt. This is pretty dang steep. Um, mostly straight down this mountain right here. And I mean, I've got great grip. I'm not, don't have any poles or anything like that. And I'm recording this while I'm going down, which may not be the best idea, but I mean, it's solid, solid shoes. Like I said, the grip, the grip is great. Um, durability. I mean, I've got well over 50 miles, some pretty rugged stuff out here, rocks, dirt. I mean, they're looking dirty, kind of filthy from all I've put them through. I mean, there's no really big signs worth. Overall, I really like these shoes. Um, I've been a fan of the Lone Peak. They've got some good comfort, pretty good, pretty good grip. A lower stack height um, some people like lower stack heights they feel more stable less likely they're gonna roll an ankle with that thinner stack and these are thicker but that being said I really haven't had maybe more than once or twice where I rolled something and it was on really uneven terrain which is where you're probably gonna roll it anyways and I honestly don't know if it would have made a difference in these versus the Lone Peaks because I've I've rolled my ankle once or twice in the new Lone Peak sixes too so you know take that for what it's worth, but they don't feel unstable. Um, for me, they don't really feel sloppy. On really steep descents, one thing I've noticed is that there is a little bit of, of horizontal movement of the foot in the shoe where it might slide a little bit. Now I do go maybe just a tiny bit bigger on my trail shoes so I've got room when my feet start to swell in an ultra marathon. Um, and so maybe it's just there's a little more room but if I didn't have that room, like my toes would be hitting the end of the shoe. Like they don't hit the end of the shoe, but there is a little bit of friction on the heel. Never formed a blister, but it does get hot on really long steep descents. Um, but that's almost every shoe I've ever worn that happens. The Mont Blanc is the one exception to that. And I'll, I'll go over that in the head to head comparison video. But overall, I would really recommend these shoes. Like I said, they can get you through some nasty terrain some beautiful trails and take you to sites that you've always wanted to see so if uh you know if it fits your budget they are a little bit more expensive than the lone peaks and the superiors that ultra has but i mean they are they're great solid comfortable shoe and they have really good traction so you know give them a shot if you don't like them ultra has a 30-day return you can return them 
you know, try a different shoe if you, if you don't think that they're for you. But I'm definitely gonna be wearing these during my running season this year and expect to put a lot of work and miles on these things. So get out there, train hard, train smart, and train Spartan. We'll catch you next time.